Lokanam Hitakari no Tribuvane Manyo Saranya Karo Radha Krishna Padara Vinda Bhajana Nandhina Matalika Radha Krishna Padara Vinda Bhajana Nandhina Matalika Respectful obeisances unto the six Goswamis, namely Srila Rupa Goswami, Srila Sanatana Goswami, Srila Jiva Goswami, Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, Sri Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, and Sri Gopal Bhatta Goswami, who are all very expert in scrutinizingly studying all the revealed scriptures with the aim of establishing eternal religious principles for the benefit of all human beings. Thus they are honoured all over the three worlds and they are worth taking shelter of because they are absorbed in the mood of the gopis and are engaged in the transcendental loving service of Radha and Krishna. We are reading from the Nectar of Devotion, Chapter 19. Devotional service in pure love of God. So it was described, maybe you remember yesterday, how there are two different ways by which one can come to pure love of God. Uh, well, pure love can be transferred to the Supreme Personality of Godhead under two conditions. One was out of ecstasy and the other was out of the causeless mercy of the Supreme Lord Himself. So now we're going to hear about how we can transfer love of God out of ecstasy. Ecstatic love of Godhead can be, can be potently invoked simply by following the rules and regulations of devotional service as they are prescribed in scriptures under the direction of a bona fide spiritual master. In the 11th canto, 2nd chapter, 
verse 40 of Srimad Bhagavatam. This ecstatic love, born of the execution of regulative devotional service, is explained. A devotee, in the course of executing the regulative principles of devotional service, develops his natural Krishna consciousness, and being thus softened at heart, he chants and dances like a madman. While performing chanting of the holy name of the Lord, he sometimes cries, sometimes talks, while, sometimes talks wildly, sometimes sings, and sometimes without caring for any outsiders, dances like a madman. Right? So this, this is a this description of ecstatic love due to the regulative principles. In the Padma Purana, there is a statement about ecstatic love born of spontaneous affection. Chandra Kanti, a celebrated, fair-faced girl, rigidly observed celibacy in order to obtain Krishna as her husband. She always engaged herself in meditating on the transcendental form of the Lord and always chanted the glories of the Lord. She did not desire to accept anyone else as her husband. She had firmly decided that only Lord Krishna would be her husband. Okay? Interesting, eh? So that ecstatic love born of spontaneous affection. We'll read a little more. The Lord's Extraordinary Mercy. When a devotee is found to be always associated with the Lord in ecstatic love, it is to be understood that such a position has been awarded by the Lord Himself out of His causeless, extraordinary mercy. An example of such extraordinary mercy is given in the 11th canto, 12th chapter, verse 7 of Srimad Bhagavatam, wherein Lord Krishna tells Uddhava, The gopis in Vrindavan did not study the Vedas to achieve me nor had they ever been in holy places of pilgrimage, nor did they devoutly execute any regulated principle, nor did they undergo any kind of austerity. It is simply by my association that they have attained the highest perfection of devotional service. Jai, Nectar of Devotion, Ki Jai. We'll go on to read Srimad Bhagavatam. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 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 Narayanam Namaskritya. Narayanam Namaskritya. Naram Chaiva Narotamam. Daivim Sarasatim Vyasam. Tato Jaya Mudhirayat. Nasta praeshu vabadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhakti Bhavati Naishtaki 
We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 3, Chapter number 23, entitled Devahuti's Lamentation. This morning, text number 23, right? Nimat Nimajyasmin Ridaye Biru Vimanam Idam Aruha Idam Shukla Kritam Tirtam Ashisham Yapakam Rinam Nimajyasmin Riddaye Biru Vimanam Idam Aruha Idam Shukla Kritam Tirtam Ashisham Yapakam Rinam Nimajyasmin Riddaye Biru Vimanam Idamaruha Idam Shukla Kritam Tirtam Ashisham Yapakam Renam Marriages. Nimajya after bathing Asmin in this Radae in the lake Biru O fearful one Vimanam airplane Idam this Aruha ascend Idam this Shukla Kritam created by Lord Vishnu Tirtam sacred lake Ashisham the desires Yapakam bestowing Nrinam of human beings Translation My dear Devahuti you look very much afraid. First bathe in Lake Bindu Sarova, created by Lord Vishnu Himself, which can grant all the desires of a human being, and then mount this airplane. You can all repeat, My dear Devahuti, you look very much afraid. First bathe in Lake Bindu Sarova, created by Lord Vishnu Himself, which can grant all the desires of a human being. 
and then mount this airplane. Purport by Śrīla Prabhupāda, it is still the system to go to places of pilgrimage and take a bath in the water there. In Vrindavan, the people take bath in the river Yamuna. In other places such as Prayag, they take bath in the river Ganges. The words Tirtam Ashisham Yapakam refer to the fulfilment of desires by bathing in a place of pilgrimage. Kadama Muni advised his good wife to bathe in Lake Bindu Sarova so that she could revive the former she could revive the former beauty and luster of her body. Om Magyana Timirandasya Gyananjana Chaksurun Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vanchakaupata Rubyastya Kripa Sindhu Bayeva Patitanam Pavan Hebyo Vaishnavibyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare we're hearing how Kardama Muni married Devahuti. He accepted Devahuti as his good wife and they were living together in Kardama Muni's hermitage in the forest.